man stabbed in a West Palm Beach cemetery the day before Halloween, and tonight the attacker is still on the loose. It is a real life tale of terror with a twist. Our Winnie Burbank has a story you will only see right here on WPBF 25. A Woodlawn Cemetery worker walking through the tombstones in the dark when his mother says he hears a voice calling his name from behind a mausoleum. Someone called his name, Pat. Hey, Pat. Patrick turned around. He said, Holy, you scared the sh out of me. Patricia Tranquisi says suddenly a son Patrick hit the ground and someone was on top of him with a knife. And the knife went right through his hand. He proceeded to keep screaming. She says the attacker fled the West Palm Beach Cemetery. Her son rushed to the ER with the blade still stuck in his hand. The early morning attack the day before Halloween. They said it sounds like you're watching a, a horror movie on television. Tranquisi tells me her son is no stranger to terror. He's still not over Mr. Badia's dying. It still haunts him. Patrick was working with Herminio Padilla at a water treatment plant in January. On the night, Padilla fell into a sewage tank and died. She says the city put Patrick on leave, sent him to a psychologist, and sent him to work here. He was placed in the cemetery, which is a constant reminder of death. Her son still traumatized, now in and out of surgeries, afraid for his life. Tranquisi tells me she's confident the attacker targeted her son. She says it's no coincidence that that person knew his name. The family offering a $10,000 reward to any information that could lead to an arrest. In West Palm Beach, Whitney Burbank, WPBF 25 News.